Hey everyone, um, so I wanted to do another video about whether ISKCON is a cult or Hare Krishna is a cult. Um, I think sometimes we make these things too complicated, kind of like, is Trump a racist? You might get into a debate debate about it, but obviously he's a racist. You look at everything he said and never done in his life, and the only thing that ties it all together is the fact that he's a racist. So... <clears throat> Um, we really don't have to make this too complicated when we're thinking about the Hare Krishna religion. Is it a cult? Um, well, they often use dishonest recruitment techniques. They present themselves as a lifestyle. They give out free food, yoga classes, thing, meditation classes. And then gradually, once you're a part of the group, once they make friends with you, they gradually kind of suck you in. Um, and so that's exactly what a cult would do. They'd befriend you at your t your most vulnerable time, and they take advantage of you. Which really brings us to our second uh, point, which is the extent of the harm done by the individuals, uh, to the individuals who join this organization. Um, you're expected to sacrifice everything, your health, your well-being, your mental health, your physical health, money, all that stuff. And... Um, I know, you know, they might say, oh, you can stay at home or you can do this, you can do that, but you sacrifice so much when you join. Your life is no longer yours. You're supposed to dedicate literally every second to God. That's what the teachings say. Anytime you are pursuing any sort of happiness for yourself, that is lust and that is evil. You're only supposed to pursue the happiness of Krishna. And of course, Krishna isn't anywhere to be found in this world, so you have to... Uh, serve the organization as a proxy for God and your guru as a proxy for God. Um, the other thing that makes it extremely cult-like is the isolation from family and friends. If you join, you're supposed to distance yourself from everyone outside the group. Now, obviously, people in the group will say, no, this is for philosophical reasons, right? These people are not in spiritual consciousness and they'll take you away from Krishna and blah, blah, blah. But, but just abstract away from all that. At, even as a, if there's any group and, and you talk, talk and someone told you that, all right, here's this group, they manipulate people, they use dishonest recruitment techniques, they tell people to distance themselves from their family and friends, they ask people to make these incredible superhuman sacrifices of their whole life for the organization. Is it a cult? Yes, of course it's a cult. It's not complicated. This stuff isn't rocket science. It's just when we've been brainwashed or if we're starting to become brainwashed or just joining or if you've been a part of it for a long time, it can be so hard to see the most obvious things. Of course, it is a cult. Of course, it's a cult. Um, the other thing that makes, you know, separates religions from cults is the degree to which they're authoritarian. This con is highly, highly authoritarian or Hare Krishna religions are highly authoritarian. Um, there's, you know, very strong hierarchical structure within each community. But more than that, you're supposed to accept the word of Prabhupada, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, whatever you like to call him, um, as the word of God. And he's written a lot of words and a lot of letters. And of course, he was racist and homophobic and misogynist and a little bit, uh, you know, thought Hitler was cool. Um, so, yeah, highly authoritarian. Then you've got your guru. You're supposed to worship as God, the living guru. And, uh, yeah, so incredibly highly authoritarian. You're supposed to give up all elements of freedom, all elements of critical thinking, all elements of thought, and surrender it to this organization. Give your life to the organization and um, serve the organization. Give up your sense of autonomy, your sense of self, everything. So... Yeah, um, it sounds like a cult to me. <laughs> and the funny thing is, um, you know, say you were to ask, well, what makes something like Scientology a cult? Um, you could take all those same criteria and apply them to ISKCON. Now, someone who's a member of the Hare Krishna religion could say, well, this is true and Scientology isn't. Uh, science, it's not really about... Um, truth. I mean, that's a different topic, and I'm happy to argue that. I've got videos on it. Uh, every aspect of the philosophy is obviously false if you're not brainwashed. But that being said, cult refers to the structure of the organization. Does it function as a cult? Um, and the obvious, obvious, obvious answer is yes, it does function as a cult.
course it's a cult. If it looks like a cult, if it talks like a cult, if it walks like a cult, folks, it's a cult. All right, that's it for today. Have a good one.